it's Kales, and I'm coming at you with another Top 5 Wednesday. Yes! This Top 5 Wednesday is Top 5... I should double check this before I do it. Okay, yes. The Top 5 Wednesday this week is Title Fonts on Covers. And this was kind of hard for me, so I'm just kind of going with covers in general. One of which I do not own, so let's go ahead and start with that one. The British edition of Extraordinary Means. I saw this over on Two Paper Girls' channel with Laura and Amy, and I commented on why is the British version of this book so much more interesting looking than the American? I mean, really? Like, this is no contest for me. The one, the British version, is beautiful, gorgeous. I haven't read this book yet. I'm still thinking I might give it a try, if I can get a copy of this British version. The next one I want to talk about is this entire republishing of the Neil Gaiman books. This republishing of all of Neil Gaiman's books, uh, American Gods is like this, Stardust, there's a whole collection that are beautiful like this, and if I didn't have my very special graveyard book where I like wrote all over it, I would go out and purchase more of them looking like this, because I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And if you haven't read Neil Gaiman, I can understand why, because it's a little creepy and it takes a certain taste to it, but that's okay. There's, I think, a book of his for everyone, and for me, some of those include the graveyard book, Stardust, obviously, as well as The Ocean at the End of the Lane, and American Gods, although I have to finish American Gods. I've been told I really need to finish it by several, several people. I'm gonna get on that. Next is a middle reader book that I actually really enjoy, and that is Escaped from Mr. Lemoncello's Library by Chris Gavinstein. I just think this cover is so much fun. This font here, one, it's on a library card and it's really festive and cool and it just looks like a game board, which this whole book is about sort of a game. It's like Willy Wonka meets board games and it <laughs> meets books and it's really interesting, a great middle reader read. It's one of my only favorites of Chris Gabenstein. I'm not a big fan of the series that he wrote with James Patterson or the other one, The Island of Dr. Libris. However, this one I love, and this one I would love to turn into a movie because it would be stunning visually, just like this beautiful cover. Next, I have to tell you one of my absolute favorite covers of any book I've ever read, and that is I'll Give You the Sun. I'll Give You the Sun, one, is bumpy and has texture, and it's beautiful and simplistic, and it gives you no notion of this book, and yet the title is so brilliant and so subtle, and this book, if you haven't heard about it yet, pick it up up. It is one of my favorites that I've read this year. It is about two siblings, a boy and a girl. One perspective of the story is told from the brother three years in the past, and then the story from the sisters told three years in the future after a significant family tragedy. It is brilliant storytelling, brilliant writing, and a really, really, really pretty cover. Next I have two books but are by the same author and have similar color cover themes like the Neil Gaiman ones and that is Life of Pi by Jan Martel and The Real St Facts Behind the Helsinki Rokukamatios by Jan Martel. This is a collection of short stories. This is a full-blown novel that a lot of people have read. I also own another one of his novels which is called Beatrice and Virgil. However, I got Beatrice and Virgil when it first came out and it looks like this. This does not look like these. I love the simplicity of these with the one little item and the person and like an animal that's there. I wish that I had the version of Beatrice and Virgil that's like this. I wish I really did. These are just simplistic and cool and would be a whole complete set, but no, and I'm not big on buying books for looks. So yes, those are my top five Wednesday picks. They're a little odd but I quite like them, and I think that you should too. So if you have any questions about any of these books, if you want me to go into more detail about them, send me a comment, and I'd be happy to talk to you guys about it, as always. Until next time, guys, Bye bye I just think this cover, if I cannot get the glare, I'll give you the sun, which just ruined my white balance, but that's okay. I wish that I had the virgin, virgin,